I'm almost like the, in the film The Sixth Sense where he says uh, I see dead people I'm like him and I paint dead people <laughs> <laughs> My purpose in art is to represent Ireland and its great poets, musicians, artists politicians, its landscapes, oil and seascapes in a modern setting so they have a place in our modern architecture and our lives. If you read Ulysses, it could have been written this year. You know, it's, it's as modern now as it was, and contemporary now as it was, when it was written in the, in the early 1900s. And that's, that's what I like about uh, Joyce, and that's, what, that's why I connect with him. I connect with him as a contemporary writer, and I'm a contemporary artist. I've taken, I've given myself a huge challenge, a huge challenge to paint Ulysses as a painting. I want to challenge myself. I, I want it to be a new style, a new technique. I want it to be, I've never painted this way before. Like this is my first time ever to paint. And, and with, a, with a subject as difficult as Ulysses, it's, it allows that because it's never been done. It's been, it's been, do, been done in theatre, it's been done in film, but it's, it has never been, as far as I know, it's never been painted. The main thing that was going through my mind drawing is that I'm getting it right. Uh, but what you've you got to do, like, and I love this. I used to do it with the TV years ago. I love the speed at which you have to draw because everybody moves so quickly. So you've got to capture the image very fast, unless they're posing for you. And I love when people aren't posing that you've got two or three seconds to catch a fleeting image and then it's gone. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very instant, very intense. And it really, it really trains the eye to the hand, the, the movement of the eye to the movement of the hand, and you know, capturing the image in your mind and transferring it very quickly onto the, onto the sheet of paper. The beauty of having a big studio is I can paint large scale paintings. You know, I can take on the challenge of painting, you know, a painting of this uh, this magnitude. You know, in comparison to you know, smaller scale. The easy thing about a smaller scale painting is the smaller brushes, smaller amount of paint. You don't have to move. I mean, when I'm painting this painting, I have to, I have to climb up a ladder to get to the top corners. I have to st step back further. So a day of painting, I'd say I'd walked from here to Dublin. <laughs> I, lo I, I love the East Coast. I love that journey, the train journey. It's, it's one of my, uh, in all of Europe, even the South of France, that train, specific train journey, from Dunleary into Dublin is one of my favourites. The feeling of travelling in was the same feeling that you get in Ulysses, is, is the journey, you know, an outward journey and also an inward journey. And you're sitting on a train, you, you have a huge inward journey. When I came out of the train station, there was a funeral in the church and it seemed quite significant to me that it was there on my personal journey through Ulysses. And, uh, you know, I, I took my hat off in reverence to it and, and the memory of the uh, specific reason why Bloom had the day off that morning. Synchronicity or what, I don't know. I have to paint almost, as I say, what hasn't been painted before and dressing up and getting into the part, you know, moving around Dublin and bec becoming, you know, sections of the book, reliving parts of it. It's part of uh, my process, you know, in this painting. Davy Burns really is on the south side is the crux of of Bloom's Day. Everyone gathers there to celebrate. And I've been there a couple of years, dressed up, and as I said before, like I enjoy the dressing up, and I enjoy the the party that ensues. I, I definitely think that with all the bank holidays that were given in Ireland, they should take one of the bank holidays and change it to a Bloom's Day holiday and call it Bloom's Day holiday and give us a holiday on that specific day so that people, more people could celebrate it because it should be celebrated. It's, it's the Irish Bible as far as I'm concerned. I want it to be almost not just a portrait of Joyce and not just a portrait of Ulysses, but a portrait of Joyce's mind, you know, of what's going on in his mind, you know, and that's why it's sort of, you know, as, uh, s as someone has said, it's almost like his things are bursting out of his mind onto the canvas. If I can achieve visually anything, you know, close to what Joyce achieved in his book, uh, I'd be happy. 
The Ormond Hotel was closed and it was a terrible shame. You know, that's where they had uh, a bit of a party and a sing song that evening, but at least there was a plaque there to commemorate him. Unfortunately, the building is, is very run down and hopefully whoever takes it over eventually will uh, do a bit more to celebrate Joyce and our literary heroes. Coming up Grafton Street and into Bewley's to see my painting was a privilege. I can never do a portrait of somebody without doing a little bit of a self-portrait. I wouldn't say I'm anywhere near as brilliant as James Joyce, but I would sort of, uh, I, w I would have been brought into his world. Mm -hmm.